हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑटोमेशन कम्युनिटी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन एग्जांपल इन व्हिच वी विल यूज नॉर्मली ओपन कॉन्टैक्ट्स एज वेल एज नॉर्मली क्लोज कॉन्टैक्ट्स वी विल बी आल्सो वी विल बी आल्सो यूजिंग मेमोरी बिट एंड इंप्लीमेंट लैचिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Example ten. If switch one is on, then motor one and motor two will be on. If switch one is off, then motor one and motor two will be still on. If switch two is on, then motor one and motor two will be off. So for switch one, we will use normally open contact, and for switch two, we will use normally close contact, and then we will use a memory bit that will be flashed. and then only motors will remain on either if switch one is turned off and then when switch uh, and then to turn off the motors we will use switch two so let's move to ti portal where we will implement a ladder logic for this example and do the simulation also this is the interface of ti portal let's go to plc tags first and default tag table Here we have to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is switch one, and then we have switch two also. So I will click on here and then drag it to here. So in this way, switch two is automatically fast. And then we have two motors, motor one, and then I will change the address to Q zero point zero as it is an output, so it will start with Q, and then. And then we have another motor, motor two. I will click here and then drag it to here. So motor two is automatically fast. <coughs> and then I will minimize this. And then I will go to program blocks and then main op. So here I will use a normally open contact and a coil. And this normally open contact will be switch one, so I will write as and select switch one here. And then this coil, I will use it as memory bit, so I will assign address to it as M zero point zero. And then this M zero point zero will be used here as normally open contact M zero point zero. And then there will be two motors, so for coil one for motor one, and then I will open the branch. Like this, and then one more coil. So I use the shortcuts: Shift F8 to open the branch, and then Shift F7 to insert a coil. So this coil will be for motor one, and then this coil will be for motor two. So what happens is that when switch one is pressed or it is turned on, M0.0 gets through, and when M0.0 gets through, motor one and motor two gets through. But when switch one is turned off, M zero point zero turns off, which will turn off the motors. But after switch, after turning off the switch one, motors should remain on. For to attain that, we have to latch. So I will open the branch, shift eight. Then I have to insert a normally open contact, shift F two, and then close the branch. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M zero point zero, which is a memory bit. So now, when switch one is pressed, M zero point zero gets through, and when M zero point zero gets through, motor one and motor two turns on. And then, when switch one is turned off due to latching, M zero point zero still remains true. And when it remains true, it will make motor one and motor two to remain on. And then we need to turn off these motors with switch two. So here we will use a normally close contact. A normally close contact, and it will be switch two. So when motor one and motor two is true because of this M zero point zero, and when switch two is pressed or turned on, as it is a normally close contact. In true state, it will not allow current to flow through it. As a result, this M zero point zero gets to gets off, and which in turn will turn off motor one and motor two. So, firstly, when switch one is pressed or turned on, the current will flow through it, 
and switch 2 is in false state as it is a normally closed contact in false state it will allow current to flow through it as a result this M0.0 .0 gets through and when M0.0 .0 gets through this motor 1 and motor 2 turns on and then when switch 1 is turned off as previously M0.0 .0 is true the current also will flow through this and when it is turned off the current will flow through it and switch 2 is false in false state uh, and it is a normally closed contact the current will flow through it as a result this M0.0 .0 still remains on after turning off the switch 1. As it remains on it will make motor 1 and motor 2 to remain on also. And then we will use switch 2 when it is turned on it will uh, break the circuit so the, uh, this normally closed contact in true state will not allow current to flow through it as a result this M0.0 .0 gets off and as a result the current will not flow through it and motor 1 and motor 2 turns off. So let's start the simulation here. After that, I will start CPU and then I will start monitor and then I will switch to project view Let's create a new project I will click here that PLC simulation tables and then simulation table 1 <coughs> and then right click here and then load project tags. So here are the, all the tags switch 1, switch 2, motor 1, motor 2, this memory bed. So now we can do the simulation. So when I turn on switch 1 as a result this M0.0 .0 gets true and when M0.0 .0 gets true motor 1 and motor 2 turns on. And then, when I turn it off, so due to latching, this M0.0 .0 is true, the current will flow through it, this switch 2 is in false state and it is a normally closed contact, the current will flow through it and as a result, this M0.0 .0 remains on, which in <coughs> turn, turns on the motor 1 and motor 2. These motors still remain on. And then, when I turn on switch 2, this switch 2 as it is a normally closed contact in true state it will not allow current to flow through it. As a result this M0.0 .0 gets off and when M0.0 .0 gets off the current will not flow through it. As a result motor 1 and motor 2 turns off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.